Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we've got some big balance changes to talk about. We've got four huge nerfs to some of the top rulers within the meta. And then we've got one decent buff. So if you guys missed it, for a couple of hours, there was a big maintenance. And you can see all the changes in the patch notes. So we're going through, testing it, giving you guys my thoughts on all the balance changes. I think from the get-go, it looks really good. But of course, we've got to test it out. So of course, before we jump into it, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first a big change, which is definitely going to impact the meta a lot because Chester was probably like a top three brawler, if not a top five brawler in the meta. So it's with Chester. So Chester has received four huge nerfs three of them being to his one of well one of his supers uh which of course you only get one out of five times but it was definitely really broken so the big nerf is with his stun super which i'm very glad about because it was extremely cheesy it used to literally melt you so the first one uh, well the first nerf with this one is going to be with his stun damage so it used to deal 2100 damage which for me was just insane it definitely didn't need any sort of damage they've reduced that all the way down to 300 so that was really good because a lot of the time you know brawlers are on average probably around four to five thousand hp so literally removing half the health with that super was insane and then it would last for like two seconds which is pretty dumb that's been reduced to one second and then the projectile speed has been nerfed by 25 percent so a big nerf definitely really nice i still think it's going to be a good super one of his best supers just because a stun attribute is actually really insane unfortunately we can see it there but uh, as i was saying like the stun is just really good as long as you've kind of got your third fourth sequence you should be able to finish off the kill anyways so yeah chester i feel like he's going to be a little bit worse off he's also received a damage nerf which is definitely going to hurt him from 1080 to 960 so definitely some huge changes coming in here it's really going to impact him and his other star power just because it's really going to decrease the damage output that you can put out so for me it you know chest is going to be a lot worse off let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the next balance change which i think could potentially make buster really bad or well, not really bad but just actually a little bit balanced so the first one is going to be with his super duration so it's gone from all the way from six seconds to three seconds so this is a huge one i recommended that uh, either they get rid of like the super duration like completely nerf it just because it lasted for so long and like one of the main problems with buster is the fact that you could obviously pull out your super and then by the time your super is done literally you'll be like full hp all of your ammo will be reloaded and it's just really hard to take them down so they actually went with the other approach and uh, reduced the duration from six to three seconds so it'd be pretty interesting i think his super will be nowhere near as good now you know that's a huge nerf to him it's really situational now still think it's going to be pretty strong in the right hands and in the right situation but of course it's not going to enable you to uh, get as much pressure as you probably would have had before so that's of course a big nerf for buster so the next one is with his attack damage so his attack damage has gone from like 2200 uh, i think yeah 2220 to 1980 so again another damage nerf so it feels like buster is literally going to be like a zero damage soon like he's got infinite damage nerfs so hopefully this does something i'm not too sure about this one uh but uh yeah i mean a damage nerf is definitely like welcomed because it, of course how strong he is so i'm going to use the gadget on the stew i mean i can't actually get him down there maybe about the damage nerf could have maybe got him a lot weaker let's see if we can pass the ball away here and then the last one is with his star power reduction with damage so i think whilst his super is active he used to get a 20 percent damage reduction i didn't even know that was part of his star power like that star power is so insane it made you immune to stop but uh stop backs stuns knockbacks slows all of that good stuff uh then obviously a 20 percent damage reduction a little bit too strong on that end so i'm glad that has been nerfed as well so I can definitely feel Buster a little bit weaker than before. You know, you've got to be careful with a brawler like Buster because, you know, tanks, of course, aren't really the strongest in this meta right now. So, you know, Buster could potentially be one of the more worse brawlers, you know, as time goes on. And, yeah, we've got to be a little bit careful that we don't overkill him. I think that's what they wanted, uh, they didn't want to do was just overkill Buster. But you can see here, by the time I pulled out my super, I feel like people are just there, ready, prepared to take me down. And I just can't get as much pressure as I once was able to get. So definitely some nice nerfs to Buster. I think he's not going to be one of those broken brawlers anymore. Fingers crossed. Anyways, let's hop into the next one. All right, guys. So the next one you'll be glad to hear. Well, a lot of people will be glad to hear. Anyways, that Grom is receiving 
a nerf. So Grom's nerf is with his projectile speed. So, I mean, his damage is pretty insane. I would like to see the damage nerf as well, but at least we got this one because he was insanely toxic. So basically, his attack projectile speed in terms of numbers, you know, it's pretty hard to compare it into like real stats in Brawl Stars because there's a lot of, I, I don't know, I'm not really knows the logistic side of it. But anyways, like numbers wise, he was uh, before the buff 800 milliseconds, his projectile speed. And then that got buffed all the way up to 880. And then right now, which obviously since, uh, since the update, they've nerfed it by 40 milliseconds. So it's at 840. So it's actually in between what it was before the buff and then uh, after the buff. So yeah, pretty nice. I did recommend this change as well. So they literally listened to me. So I mean, I'm pretty glad that I've listened to a lot of people's feedback. I think this might put Grom in a little bit of a sweet spot. If anything, I still think he's going to be pretty strong. I think it's going to be even stronger on, like, Knockout and Bounty, which he was already, like, that was basically his niche in the meta, right? But I think he's still going to be okay. I think he's going to be dodgeable at, like, max range, which is pretty nice. Uh, but I still feel like he's going to be a really strong brawler just because of the damage. We'll have to wait and see, but at least I won't be having to ban Grom literally everywhere. I think that was the main problem, was that you could go Grom everywhere. I think Grom was, like, a top three brawler within the meta, you know, I called when he did receive a buff that he'd be a lot better in the meta, but I did not think he'd be at the point, like, in the state of the game where you could literally pull out a Grom everywhere. Like, I was so terrified facing off against the Grom. It, like, ruined my Power League experience. So, I would literally waste a ban on it. Well, not even waste a ban. Just ban him out every single time because I just couldn't deal with the toxicity. Just him hitting every single shot. So, I think this is a nice change. Still think it's going to be pretty strong, but definitely nowhere near as broken as before. Let's hop into the next one. Okay, so now jumping into the next balance change, we have Gray's Piano. So Gray's Piano used to just completely destroy the area. Wow, that's actually a huge nerf. I did not expect to see that. So I wanted to kind of uh, anticipate... Well, I didn't really want to ruin it for uh, a live reaction, but that is kind of crazy. I think if anything, that is too small. Let me see if it actually breaks up a little bit of the wall here so yeah i just want to test it out here so i guess that's smaller than a rough super i mean it's just about the same as a rough super i would say which again it's a nice change because grand piano just used to delete the entirety of the map so definitely a welcome change but still it's a wall break so don't underestimate the power of this gadget but then again the other great gadget is actually really underrated so maybe you might see a little bit of a switch here if anything I might try out the other gadget because it's been completely slept on considering, you know, Grand Piano was just so strong. You just had to use it every single time. So I'm going to use the gadget here. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know about, I don't know about you guys. I just find it funny because I just expect to see some massive piano on my screen. And then it's just some like tiny farty one, which again, I can't complain because of how strong it was. It's just pretty funny to see if, it, if you guys are wondering as well, Muffet is actually the balance change guys. So, uh, I was just chilling trying to get some gameplay and he invites me so I feel a little bit pressured here to try and make some plays Let's see if we can get uh, behind enemy lines I mean, I've got a, a super right here just to heal basically else I was pretty much dead uh, But yeah, Gray's gonna be in a much balanced state like before he was really relying on his gadget and just breaking open the map I feel like it's gonna be a lot worse off for it, but definitely a lot more balanced Maybe they can look to fine-tune some of his other stats to make him a little bit stronger in other areas but yeah it's a nice welcome change for sure so i'm going to swap positions with the gale right here and then teleport straight onto the crow somehow i hit the palm in the background but yeah definitely chaining through your teleports allows you to heal get that extra thousand hp which is pretty nice so again still got this teleport to go gonna use it onto the crow and looks like shelly has pretty much given up i mean we're playing pretty well with uh, grace so far so yeah definitely a big change to this gadget so if i were you test out the other gadget see which one you like i mean it, everyone predicted it right this was not a um a surprise to anyone that this gadget got nerfed like it did but it will welcome it i mean as soon as i was testing it out in the dev build i just knew the gadget would be a problem so that's gonna be the next nerf let's hop into the final change which is actually a buff all right guys so jumping into the final balance change which is actually a buff it is with mandy's uh delay for longer range it's a little bit awkward to say kind of keep messing it up every single time i want to talk about it but basically you can see with that bar it will uh, actually load up 40% faster than before the update, which is definitely a really nice change. It was really way too long for you to wait for that um, extra long range because by the time you've kind of loaded it up, they're already in your face and ready to take you down. So, yeah, Monday might go from somewhat of a weak brawler to a pretty strong brawler. I won't really say 
should be like the best in the game maybe on some maps but uh, definitely she's still a little bit weaker on these type of maps because of course a lot of grass she doesn't have the most insane dps but yeah definitely a welcome change i think it's gonna be a lot less awkward to activate it like a lot of the time you are actually at a, a negative uh trying to activate this longer range but now it's definitely a positive so we should be able to get this sandy down eventually We've also got uh danny to our roster as well which is always welcomed okay i somehow missed that super so it's still the super is high risk high reward i think it's definitely stronger on the lower levels like I was playing uh, Mandy on like lower trophies and it's just so easy to hit the super and then as soon as you play Mandy at high trophies it's just nowhere near as good so yeah Max trying it right there not too sure uh, what how they thought they were going to score there but yeah we can start to push up right here looks like uh, again Sandy has got this super but uh, Sandy's going to be lurking here let's see if we can take her well him down let's see with a power of auto aim finally we can get that one down and I was going to try and line up a super there, but a little bit awkward. Unfortunately, I've just not had too much use out of the uh, the additional buff just yet because people are just running into my face. So again, you won't really have to activate it every single time, but a good Mandy will definitely be able to abuse this, especially like shoot and start. I think this is going to be so insane. Like Mandy has to be like the best first pick on shoot and start because you can easily just activate the extra range every single time. So yeah, we completely missed that super, but basically I, w I knew... But I'll be able to finish off the kill pretty much straight away. So that should be an easy walk in for ourselves. And we eventually get the goals. So I'm playing pretty terrible. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit flustered playing with Danny, of course. <laughs> but let's try and get this a dub. Let's see. Sandy, we need to get out of his position because, of course, that stun is really dangerous. So let's see if we can get off super in time. If not, it doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you think of Mandy's change. You know, I still don't think she's the strongest of Brawlers, but it's definitely a welcome change on those more longer range maps. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. In terms of balance changes, really good this time around. I think it's going to really balance out the meta. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.